on everybody, it's your boy Slap Train. Welcome back guys, Forza Horizon 2. I know it has been too damn long since we've played this, and I gotta say, I've missed it man. I've missed Forza Horizon 2, but I'm missing that Forza Motorsport feel though, you know what I'm saying? We've been playing Project Cars for so damn long, you know, the, the realism factor of that game is just astonishing. It really is to the point now where, you know, Forza Horizon 2 is almost now just too arcadey and you know i feel like they need to up the force feedback a little bit on forza horizon 2 and that's really where the arcadey feel is coming from because i have this game on max well, well not max i mean i do now but 95 though before and it still didn't feel the strongest so now though we are back on 100 force feedback we're gonna see how this goes today and we're gonna be doing another wheel spin drifting build now we have quite a few wheel spins left. Uh, we have not used these in, I don't even know how long, man. Since the last video that we did this. But essentially, if you guys are new to this series, all we're going to be doing is spinning this wheel and seeing what comes out of it. If we get a car out of it, we're going to be turning that into a drift car. It doesn't matter what the vehicle is. could be anything, but we have to slide it, man. We have to. Now, usually we have a set limit budget on these vehicles. I don't think we're going to do a budget today, but I'm going to keep it a little bit more cost efficient than what we would usually be doing. We got another $28,000, man. We don't want that. We don't need money, man. Let's go. Alright, here we go one more time. Still nothing on that damn thing here. Big money, big money, big money. I feel like we're at the casino, man, you know? <sighs> That Mercedes-Benz SLS would have been absolutely gorgeous to try out. Let's give it another spin. I feel like we're on Wheel of Fortune or something, man. Give the big wheel a spin, eh? Now, you know what would be really funny is if they added in a bankrupt. You know what I'm saying? You hit a bankrupt? Oh, my God. You'd think twice before spinning that damn wheel again. There we go. Another one, man. Nothing. 24000 We don't need it, though. I mean, I appreciate it. I can always use money. It's not a problem about that whatsoever. Here we go. Come on. Come on. The Pontiac Firebird Trans Am right now. I don't think I even own one of these. So this is going to be really nice. VIP bonus of 26000 Giving us a grand total of $50,400 for the prize value, man. Not cash money. Not cash money. So we're going to go ahead and pick up our Firebird right now. That thing, Oh, man. I hit... Damn it. Now, the rules are if we get it again... Then we got to do the next car that comes up. Oh my god, are you serious right now? The Lancer Evolution GSR. We got to get it, man. What's the chances of that anyways? Come on now. I know a lot of you guys have been dying for Mitsubishi builds. So that's pretty damn cool that we ended up getting it. The Firebird is gorgeous, no doubt about it. But I just would like to maybe drive that Lancer this time. And I'm going to be honest with you guys. I did not mean to hit that bu- <gasps> Shit! I did not mean to join that either. God damn it. All right, so after being rudely brought into another race, we're going to go ahead and pick up our Evo right now. This thing is absolutely beautiful. I'm not going to lie to you. And I'm pretty happy that I now do own one in my Forza garage because probably without that wheel spin, I never would have picked it up. You know, nothing against the Evos whatsoever, but I just usually don't build any... Evos for drift builds. I'm not really too sure why. Uh, it's something that I definitely need to start doing. I'll tell you that right now. But we're going to be making this thing badass today, man. Now, let's see what we can do. We actually have some bumpers that we can throw on, man. Hell yeah. I'm not going to go with the license plate holder, even though that does look sick for when you actually do have a proper paint job on there. Uh, but we're going to go... Oh my god, look at all the wings. Look at how many wings there are. I don't think I've ever seen that many wings, but we got to go with that one right there, man. Look at how big it is. You have to go with the big wing. It's just mandatory. We're going to go with that. Yeah, we got to go with that damn carbon fiber hood right there. Thing looks absolutely vicious. I'm not going to lie to you. Tires. I'm thinking about going with uh, streets on here. Nothing too fast. Nothing too slow. But just enough to get us through the flow, man. I don't know. I just, you know, I'm spitting on the top of my head like I'm 8 Mile Eminem, you know? I'm just kidding, man. I don't know. Okay, I'm just going to stop right now while I'm ahead. 245's on the rear right now. We're going to go ahead, and I'm almost thinking about leaving these rims stock. I'm not going to lie. They do look pretty vicious, um, but maybe we can find something a little bit better to match the style of what we're going for, and I'm not really seeing it. I'm not going to lie to you. Um... Let's see here. Why is this game so laggy today, man? Look at this. All I'm trying to do is pick through your rims. 
and you're going to give me lag. Okay. You know what? We're going to keep the same rims, man. I have no problem leaving those rims on whatsoever. We're going to go ahead and lock that differential to the racing diff. Uh, we're going to go with our racing transmission on here. We don't want to go too crazy. Uh, racing clutch. We're going to leave the drive line alone. Uh, springs. Now, we're going to go with the racing springs. And then we're going to go ahead and lower it and then put on the rally springs. And if you guys don't know this already, it will give us a little bit more of a steering angle, if you will. I know it doesn't say that, but that is the glitch, ladies and gentlemen. I don't know, man. I don't know what you want me to do about it. It actually didn't change anything but the tires rocking back and forth. But it doesn't matter because we know what it changes on our own right here. We're going to go with that racing roll bar front to back on here. And I wanted to talk about a few things today. You guys know I like my movies. You guys know I watch usually a handful of movies every week. Um, this week, I saw some pretty damn good films. I'm not going to lie to you. Uh, two of them were brand new to me. And one of them was a oldie, but a damn well goodie. I'll tell you that. Now, first movie that I did end up seeing was Avengers. Avengers Age of Ultron. Uh, that was... Uh, oh my god. That was crazy, man. The amount of CGI in that movie is just surpassed anything that we could have imagined you know 15 years ago and going forward i believe stephen hawking's actually put out an article regarding um how artificial intelligence may even surpass human beings within the next hundred years and that's a little bit scary to think about um if you think about it i mean it's kind of like i robot if you will back in the day with will smith and um yeah it's pretty damn freaky i'm not gonna lie man i got goosebumps right now talking about it just imagine artificial intelligence telling you what to do you know not the other way around you know it could i mean it could happen don't doubt it because it very well could man it'd be scary if it does but with that being said though age of ultron was incredible man it was everything that you would have expected from an avengers movie uh definitely well worth going to go see it you know if you're a fan of that type of thing um, I ended up going with my girlfriend and her family and her dad just kind of said that, you know, there's just too much going on. Uh, and that's how it is in a lot of those movies. You know, they're just over the top crazy. You know, so many things getting thrown at you, all these CGI things. And I can understand that for sure. Personally, myself, I love the movie. I really did. You know, it was great. Everybody had great roles. Um, even Black Widow. I mean, a lot of people were saying that they didn't like the way that Black Widow was portrayed in the movie. Personally, I think that she was great. Um, you know, they gave the director a lot of hassle for that, if I'm not mistaken. But I didn't see any issues hey with it. Um, I did feel that they were going to do something with Hawkeye. Let me just say that. I'm not going to ruin anything. But I will say that I feel like they were going to... Uh, you know, at the end of the movie, I thought something was going to happen to Hawkeye. But... Um, actually, you know what, man? The movie's been out for so damn long. Spoiler alert, if you guys are watching, Hawkeye did not die. I thought he was going to die. I really did when he was laying on the ground. I'm like, come on, man. Get your ass up. And next scene, he's there with his wife. And I'm like, okay, he's good, man. He's good. But I will say, though, great movie. Um, you know, everyone to a T. I mean, it's just incredible seeing everybody on the big screen like that. And, and, this is huge right now. I did not mean to buy that. It's the same damn vinyl that I already have. Really? Really? You're going to make, okay. No, it's fine, man. Put that on the car, then. Go ahead. I don't know why anybody would even waste their time putting this on the damn car. Like, what? What happened with the paint? What did it really change? Tell me, please. Go ahead. Let's see it. I don't really see damn much. I'll tell you that right now. Nothing damn well changed. Oh, my God. You know what? I'm feeling this paint job right here. I'm not feeling the rim color, though. Ooh, here we go. We got a drift paint. Let's do it, man. I'm, I'm down to throw this on here right now. Let's let's get this on here. Now, as I said, though, big thing, man. Big thing. I don't know if you guys have Cineplex Famous Players where you guys live, but where I live, they actually put in a brand new thing into the theaters for the Ultra AVX theaters. If you guys don't know what that is, it's a type of theater where you have to go and you prepay for your tickets either online. Um, I mean, if you want to, you don't have to prepay for them. But if you do want to, though, you actually go ahead and you prepay online and you choose your seat. It's actually a chosen seat area where you have to choose from. And from there, uh, you actually go ahead and you don't have to wait in any lines. You just go there whenever you want and your seats are waiting for you. Now, they've also introduced um, something very damn crazy, which I cannot wait to go check out. Um, is the use of moving seats. Now, I know if you guys have been to Wonderland or anything like that, 
you know, you will see moving seats on some of those rides. They actually have, you know, special kind of IMAX theaters where you go in and the seat moves back and forth. They have that now at my local movie theater, ladies and gentlemen. I, uh, you have no idea how badly I want to beg for them to go put Bond Furious 7 back on the showing and just let me sit there and just bang out some shifts. You know, that would be crazy right now, man. But unfortunately, I don't believe that Furious 7 is in Ultra AVX anymore for those of you guys that know what the hell I'm talking about. Uh, but yeah, definitely though, if you guys have been to something like that, let me know how the seats feel. Um, it looked hella fun, and I can't wait to go back there, man. I'll tell you that right now. Now, for this inline four right now, or sorry, this straight four, sorry, same damn thing, whatever, man. Here we go. We're going to have a quick look at horsepower readings and such before we go die right on head-on car crash. 469 horsepower, 502 foot-pounds of torque, weighing at 2,200 pounds, or 2,300 pounds, sorry. So, with that being said... We need to go to somewhere that's going to actually slide this thing. And I don't think we're even close to anywhere right now. We don't even have anything on the map. Where is everybody, man? We got some people at the highway. We got anti-edits at the highway. What the hell are these guys doing, man? Birdie? This man's over here sliding down in Casaletto, which I'm down to give a shot to, man. I haven't been to Casaletto in a little bit. Definitely for that. But, so Age of Ultron was the first movie that I saw this week. Second movie... That I ended up watching, which was, oh my god, this movie was trippy, ladies and gentlemen. And, you know, if you guys have any kind of alcoholic beverages to watch with this movie, I will tell you, you're in for a damn trip. Now, the movie is called Project Almanac, if I'm not mistaken. A-L-M-A-N-A-C, if I'm not mistaken. And it's about time travel. And originally, I thought the movie was going to be, you know, a little bit kind of childish. They were going to go to different places and this and that. Total opposite of a movie, ladies and gentlemen. I cannot stress this enough. What is wrong with my force feedback right now? Alright, so instead of doing the actual Castelletto section, I think we're gonna just gonna slide up here and just see where this actually takes us. So, oh my god. This wheel lock on this car is very trippy. I'm not gonna lie to you. But this Evo is getting down though, man. We gotta still tune this thing, remember. But for what it is right now, it's badass, man. This thing feels beautiful. I don't know why I haven't done this car sooner, to be completely honest with you guys. I know you guys are probably shaking your heads right now. Yup, 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 yup. Slap, what the hell are you doing, man? I mean, I did one of these cars in a set of Corsa and absolutely loved it. And I should have picked it up on Forza right away, but I never did. Slap logic, right? Oh, man. Here we go. Tunnel run sounds vicious. Uh-oh. Alright, we're getting a little bit too much going on right now. So... First thing we're going to do, we're going to pull over to the side of the road to make sure that, uh, you know, we don't get rear-ended here. And we're going to go ahead and throw on our very first tune on this car and see where this goes. Now, as I said, though, Project Almanac, or however the hell you pronounce the damn movie, uh, it was a trip and a half, though. I will tell you that right now. If you guys do watch it, let me know your thoughts. If you guys have already seen it, tell me in the comments section down below. I'd love to know your thoughts on that movie. Um, please, no spoilers, though, you know, for people that didn't see it. Uh, but I will say, though, it had a pretty freaky ending. I'm just I'm just going to lay it all out there right now, man. It's a freaky damn ending, all right? But well worth the watch. Um, and those were my two new movies that I ended up watching this week. Now, the old movie that I ended up seeing was a damn good one, man. Horrible Bosses. I know Horrible Bosses 2 came out a little while ago. You know, we watched all that. Had a good time with that. And um, I just had to go back and watch the original, man. You know, the original movies are so much better than usually the sequels. And, you know, I, that's been for a lot of movies. And why can't we slide today, man? We're on Project Cars all damn week. We come back on Forza. I can't slide. Worth shit, man. Could be the car, though. I'm going to blame it on the Evo. I'm just kidding. I'm not going to do that. We do need a little bit more camber, though, I feel. Just a little bit, though. Oh, that leg is real right now. Let's see what happens up here. Yup, 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 yup. Ooh. Nothing wrong with the car, guys. Let me just tell you that right now, man. Ooh, that was clean. You know, we took a little wood with us. But how much wood could a wood chuck chuck if a wood could chuck chuck, damn it. I always screw that up. <laughs> oh my god. Here we go. Don't so oh, shit. 
I seen it, man. I seen it. Seen it with my own damn eyes, man. The movie references in this episode are just off the damn chain. I'll tell you that right now. Uh, we're going to go ahead and put a little bit more camber on this. Uh, a little bit more toe and out. And with the roll bars, we're actually going to loosen up the rear end just a little bit, man. I feel like we can get a little bit a little bit loose. You know what I'm saying? Here we go, man. Let's, let's go. I'm automatically wanting to go to the right-hand side just to save my tune like I'm in Project Cars all day. Look at my guy, man. What a boss sitting in there. Look at him. Yeah. <laughs> what the hell are you doing, man? Come on now. I hope Forza Horizon 3 lets us customize our character. If not, I'm going to be pissed, man. I'll tell you that right now. I feel like customer... Or not customer, man. I feel like character customization is a big part of any game. You know, whether or not it's a racing game or, you know, a role-playing game. Anything, man. I feel like the character customization is... You know, something to really get involved with the game, you know, really kind of get attached to it. And I feel like if we could have done something to our characters as well to our cars at the same time, oh man, that would have been crazy. We got it, we got it. It's a little bit sloppy on this thing, but the tune is a work in progress, ladies and gentlemen. Let me just tell you that. But we are just tearing up Castelletto right now. If this was the new Need for Speed, we'd have cops all over us right now. And as I did mention earlier today, the big announcement, May 21st, is going to be going down for the next big Need for Speed. Make sure you guys follow them on Facebook, Twitter, the whole nine, to figure out what the new game is going to be. Leave me your thoughts in the bottom. I know I touched base on it on my Project Cars video this morning, but didn't really talk too much about it. So, I mean, I'm, I'm just hyped, man. I just want them to do it you know, properly this time. And the biggest thing I feel for everybody is... Physics. Physics are a huge thing in any game, especially coming into, you know, 2015 right now. You know, we need some huge things, and that wall grind was just beautiful. We have nailed down this Lancer without a shadow of a doubt. Like, I'm back in WWF Wrestling. Oh, my God, man. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you guys very much for watching today's episode of Forza Horizon 2. Oh, my God. I just stepped on it. Thankfully, we powered out of it, and we made it. But, if you guys do want to see another random drift build, I love these builds, man. We get to use some crazy cars. We're going to hit this. Oh, hell yeah, man. And a wheelie to boot. You guys didn't know we an actual Lancer could wheelie, did you, man? I didn't even. I'm not going to lie to you. I really didn't think it was going to happen. But, it did. And I don't know what else to say. Ladies and gentlemen, make sure you guys slap that like button. Show me the support in the comment section down below. And, if you guys are new to the channel, don't forget to subscribe. Become a member of Team Slap today to start spinning some damn rubber with us. I'm going to enjoy this Mitsubishi Lancer just a little bit more. And if you guys are new to the channel, make sure you guys follow me on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. Chibota Slap Train, I'm out. Peace.